Hey, this is Nat Apiba. It is now 11.33 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Tuesday, February 2nd, 2015. One day left before the full moon. Leo full moon. So, today, um, I guess my topic that I named for today would be Part of the preparation and sacrifice story arc. He's ready. Quote, he's ready, unquote. Angel, army of light. And a formation of evolution, revolution, and liberation. Monday, February 2nd, 2015. So today is the day 5 of 6 of my purification. As suggested and guided by the spirit, army of light, God. And according to the energetic entity that I saw during my beach meditation on Wednesday in the afternoon, I suggested I work with the elementals by the spirit. Today is the last color that I saw in the vision, which is red and orange. Funny enough, it's also the color of the lower. Not, I shouldn't say the word lower, but the base chakras, the root in sacral, power, survival, instincts, primordial source of energy, all that. So, today, I went to, um, process group in the morning at 9 for my drug court because I have to do three groups with them and one group outside and then after I went to do my breaking yoga uh, and it also oh, yeah the process group this morning was really interesting because the the, the, the topic of the day was Failure is ne sometimes is necessary for success. Just another reminder. I mean, it was already reminded to me in 2012. And I guess today is just like a good reminder that don't worry about it, you know. Many, many people who become very successful have thousands of failures before they get it right and the humil humiliation and shame that they fight through to get to where they are so it's a good reminder then afterward the process group ended early so I decided to go to the um, Brigham Yoga and it was really good um, you know and Afterward, I came home and I got a text from my mom saying like, <laughs> it's kind of funny because the word she used because she said, uh, made Chinese broccoli for you because, you know, I have to be a vegetarian and um, want to have you know, coffee after you're done with your job. She used the word your job. Like my vocation, you know, God, God is my boss. So I find that funny that she used that word, right? But then I passed out after lunch, and oh yeah, yeah, yeah. When I was finishing um, my Brigham Yoga, when I walked out from the the studio, there were like hundreds of black crows, sorry, right in front, making a lot of noise. So it made me think about that one day when I was in Austin, Texas, when I was homeless and I was at the plaza at uh, HEB <laughs> because the source or whatever had to be fucked with me and guided me to that place, which I'll go into details later about what was going on there, but there were literally thousands of black crows all over the plaza, in every tree, making so much noise. 
And I just had a feeling they were there towards me, to give me the energy of courage, and to keep me safe. Isn't that funny? So I looked up what Black Crow means, but I haven't really finished reading it. But one of it has to do with courage. Okay. And, and then I went, <laughs> I, I took a nap. I mean, I passed out because I was so tired today. Like, this morning I really feel like my lungs. I would say that today the theme is the last healing. Like, my, my body is using a lot of my energy to heal my lungs and everything. Like, I, like it's kind of funny it's happening today too. Like, suddenly all the smokes are coming out and like, for the tars and I can feel my lungs like healing. You know? So I'm a little bit low on energy today. And then I real I was like dreaming but at the same time I felt like I wasn't really here. I was like having conversation with a group of people somewhere. <laughs> and then the spirit woke me up at two 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 PM. I went to I think it fell asleep at, at uh to nap at around 1 p.m. Anyway, so I woke up at 1 to 2 to 2 and, you know, like, when that happens, basically, the spirit is waking me up into this reality so that messages is being, can be imprinted into this third dimension um, consciousness. Then I pass it back out. And then, I woke up again at 243, and then I went back to sleep again, and I saw 343 in my dream. And then, I woke up again uh, at 2.51 and when I woke up I remember hearing voices saying he's ready, he's ready, he's ready and then like something about, so, like conversation about I'm ready for the next phase and and then from that message It made me think of, because Sue linked me this post, I mean I already saw this video before, I don't know, know when, or if it was from this time frame, literally, about a hollow lens that Microsoft is announcing for Windows 10. And then I, I, in January when, well last month, when it was announced that there is a new browser coming with Windows 10 called Spartan and it's using Trident rendering engine in Chakra JavaScript with the added Cortana support. So, saw so in the 343 in my dream this afternoon made me think about it, like kind of combining all the messages with the message that I received from Tron feel <laughs> that Windows 12 is part of the revolution. Always thought the revolution. So anyway, just want to say that Trident is important because I've been seeing that in my meditation quest since 2012 and I just saw it again Wednesday of last week with me having it in my hand. And of course chakra is part of the energy, the Kundalini awakening, the awaken. And Spartan is warrior, is warrior who are very disciplined, self-denial, and just very disciplined. Like, faithful warrior. And Kotarna is, you have to look up what Kotarna is. And of course, 343 Industries is what Microsoft named for Halo in, in Universe, which is where Quartana name come from. 343, just like my vision. HoloLens, Hologram, and the new um, user interface for all window devices and platform is called Continuum. Go more into details later why it's important. So the other thing that was let me know today was Roger kind of had a conversation with me 
that on Saturday, <laughs> when I was asked to do God's mission <laughs> with Philip, the going down to Miami and having a train to come like that, he reminded me today that, oh, like, I forgot about you and, like, you desire to go to Alaska. He was saying to me that on Saturday, when we were walking on the bridge, when we also saw that here on bird again, was that he was wearing two green, because he saw, showed me the wristband, he only showed me the Florida free tobacco because I was talking about, you know, how I'm like, in the process of purification and not smoking anymore and all that. But he didn't show me the other bracelet, nor did I pay attention to it, attention to it but I said, the other one was Alaska. I was like, what did it say? It's, he said, Alaska in capital. You know, so isn't that interesting, you know, like interesting messages, you know? And it was like, yeah, he thought it was interesting too because he just grabbed two of them because they were green. And then he said, yeah, in order to go to Alaska, you must quit cigarette. Quit smoking. Which I find funny because on Saturday morning, <laughs> on Saturday morning, I, uh, la, la, la. I'm sorry. <laughs> I made a post that on Saturday morning I made a post Did I make a post on Saturday morning? What was it Friday morning? I think it was Friday morning when I made a post that I feel like God is telling me that I'll get a new car <laughs> once like I'm completely off secret. So forget about it, you know. Anyway, so I um, also on um, Saturday, which I find interesting. Saturday is like a big day. All of, like became a big day. Jason texted me like right before I was gonna go to walk with. Roger collecting events man just like my dream telling me to collect events two events like one after the other since like the last weekend he was saying like a stranger stopped the bus and gave me coffee and a donut and she said have a nice day and then she jumped off the bus I said isn't that interesting you know so uh anyway so what happened today in the evening was connecting events again. Around 5 p.m., I um, felt was feeling restless. But I was like looking at my calendar that I need to do before Thursday. Because Thursday is the, the start new the new start date of my program. So okay, so I need to go do an outside meeting before Thursday. And I should just do it today because I know I would move a bit of tomorrow. So I looked online and I found this place called High Hopes. It started at 8 at this church close by. I'm like, okay, I should just go there. And it was like at 8, right? So I was like restless. I was like, oh, I'll just go for a walk. Because this is what I usually do when I go, for, you know, I would smoke, right? So like, oh, God, I want a cigarette. So I was like, fine, I'll just go for a walk. So as I was walking with my earbuds in, I ran into this guy. Who's a neighbor, but I never met him. And he was like struggling trying to, to like fix his this ladder, it's like really tall ladder that he had against this branch that he was trying to cut and you see like this motorized saw that he stuck in the branch like way up there. <laughs> the ladder's leaning against the same branch. It was, it was like And he kind of waved at me. I just was like I kinda of was like waving at him. And I was about to go like walk by him. And then 
I was like, ah, oh, that's why God wants me to do this. Like, to go for a walk. <laughs> this is why. So I just go to him like, do you need help, you know? And he's like, oh, I'm good, I'm fine. And it's like, is anybody helping you? He's like, no. I'm like, okay, you need help, I'll help you. <laughs> so at least I can hold the ladder for you and stuff. You know, let's get it, let's get it done. Because, you know, I remember helping Justin's dad with it. I already know this shit, right? And kind of funny how connecting preparation, preparation. And uh, so I was like, okay, let, let's move the ladder. So I moved the ladder to the actual tree instead of the branch. And like, I was like, gonna hold it. And he like had the manual version of the thing. So it's like, it's like, go out. And he was trying to do it, do it, and do it. And I was like, it was like, oh. It's okay, I can forget. and I was like, I'll just get it done, I'll just get it done, you know. And then, he's like, oh, what's your name? I say, I'm, I'm Nat, I live right down the street, at the end, it's like, oh, your dad's child, right? I say, yeah, 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 that's, that's my dad. <laughs> so he said, this thing is Bill. Anyway, so, he finally, like, got it out, you know, and then we, like, pulled it down, so the other branch is down, too, so it's like, let's just finish it off. So I help him, like, hold the ladder, go up then. So, then I went to the meeting. This is, this is the funny part, okay? When I went to the meeting, there's this sign on the front of the church. It said, Evolution, Revolution, 11 a.m. I was like, go back to the dream this out of known he's ready. And the fact that the evolution, revolution, and liberation has been the word that I received since 2012 for my trip to mention news feed. And it's also the message that I received when I received the divine blueprint, blueprint download in August 2012. Or September 2012. When I was looking at the star, my vision is flashed blue for the next day. Right. So the reason I went there, first of all, is because it's a required. So I had my meeting sheet, and for some reason, my meeting sheet disappeared. Like I took it out of the car with me, but the sign totally like got me. So I went up and take a picture. And then as I was walking to the meeting, I sat down. I was like, "Where the hell is my sheet?" <laughs> I went back on oh, look for it. And it's gone. Right. So it's like, oh, okay, I get it. Like this this coming to this meeting, like, it was like a message that it's not about, it's not about you, it's not about me, it's about doing the work. <laughs> First day, of course. And then the topic of the day was about not being self-centered in services. So I'm less, um, I have nothing to share, so I'm just gonna listen. But then halfway through, I, real, I remember, oh, I did that this afternoon, I should share it, right? So I was like, oh god, I don't know if I'm going to have time to share, you know, because I was pretty new there. Oh, I realized too that I've been to this church with Justin already in 2014, connecting events again. And... <laughs> so I was like, kind of saying to God, okay God, if you really wanted to share my story, then I know you're going to make it happen at the end, right? So the end comes at around like 8.50, the girl who learns the meeting said, Oh, I'm sorry, ran out of meeting. Because I did raise my hand several times after like, I realized that your chair like half an hour through. But I, I kept raising my hand, you know, she picked other people. He said, but if anyone that has a chair has something to share that they can share, that can do it really short, raise their hand. And I was basically the only one to raise my so I shared, I shared that story. In a very short, this, like, short version, like really fast. <laughs> So, yeah, that's it for me today. I'm ready. <laughs> so funny too that on Sunday I was saying, I made a post on Facebook with my face like, I'm ready, like I am so ready. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> At least I'm ready for the next, the next phase. And like one last thing that I want to say too is that 
while I remember everything that has been happening every day, I only remember once it's happening, like once the moment is in progress, and then I kind of start to remember the sequences, you know, like this weekend when I was driving with Phil, I was like, oh, happened before. <laughs> It kind of remind me what I need to do this time better, and it also I I knew what's gonna happen on Sunday ahead of time, sort of, you know. And I, I knew like I have a clue to how it was gonna pan out, sort of a thing. So it just made me like a little scared because I'm not scared like because these memories are so fresh, and it's the same feeling like last time too, like God. Did I die? Really? Like, did I make it? <laughs> did I make it to the end? But I think it has to do with the fact that, like, going back with, like, fifth dimension time travel here, like, I go back and forth. Ding, 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 ding. I, yeah, I go back and forth between the time, the timeline somehow. I know. Anyway, this is not what we born at Daniel Artemis Shepherd. Tomorrow is the full moon, and have a big day tomorrow. I have a lot planned for tomorrow.